Once again, the movie gods don't like me. Guys, stop doing this. Stop putting clips in the trailer. And it's always the best scene as well in the trailer. Well, one of the best scenes and it never appears in the movie. I looked for it and it wasn't there. Stop it. Just really stop it. Anyway, let's go on with the review. Be done with this. Hi guys, Stephen Keatface, and back again with another review for yourself for today, which is for the film called Shang-Chi, or Shang-Chi, depending on how you pronounce it. Let me know in the comments down below, which is the correct way to pronounce it. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got a new Marvel film come out this year. It's been a while since we've had one. We had one a couple months ago, which was a bit mediocre, which I didn't do a review for, but yeah, was it great? It was okay. Um, but we've got a new one on, on its horizon here now and it's the latest film in the Marvel Studio Universe with a widely cast of Asians in this film which is great to see. People are comparing it to you know, Black Panther with an all you know, particular race cast. And the trailer looked good, it looked like it was going to go really down the martial arts style and see something different and probably tie into the other films that come out. So far Marvel, they've been a bit quiet, obviously they've had more stuff on the, the streaming service like Disney Plus which I've been very intrigued because it seemed like those have been taking loads of chances. And with the films, with films like Black Widow, kept it kind of safe in never, never trying nothing new. How does this film do? Does this film follow that same formula or does it bring something new to the screen? You have the wrong guy. Does he look like he can fight? Come on, bro. <laughs> The action was amazing. It was nice to see Marvel try something different. Obviously, those who know about Asian cinema know this is not new. If you've seen all the Kung Fu movies, karate movies from back in the day, the likes of Jet Li and, and Bruce Lee, and obviously over the years of Jackie Chan, we recognize these type of fight scenes, which was great to see. It was a breath of fresh air to see this. And speaking of Jackie Chan, it did give me a lot of Jackie Chan vibes. There was one particular scene that stood out, which was a scene, which is in the trailer, so I'm not giving any spoilers away which is on the bus really great action sequence just follow the elements of Jackie Chan and it really made me wish that Jackie Chan was in this movie Marvel if you can try in a way to get Jackie Chan in these in these movies because I think it would be a great addition speaking of Jackie Chan the film kind of remind me well some parts actually remind me of Rush Hour and when I say Rush Hour it's because the main character which is played by uh, Sumo Lung who has a sidekick well I call it a sidekick, which is Aquafina. And Aquafina is an actress that a lot of people find annoying. I've never found her particularly annoying. I actually loved her in this one. I think she was the highlight for me. She plays the the audience eyes to what's going on. You follow her on the journey as well. And I just thought she was a very interesting character. She didn't do too much. She knew when to throw in the jokes when it was needed. And I thought she had really great chemistry with the main character. The villain, who's played by uh, Tony Leung, had a really good story arc. I was really enjoying how that was going. He is someone I have seen in some of like some really old, um, old um, Asian cinema films. I've seen him before. I can't remember which film, but I've definitely seen him before. And I thought he was great for what he was given. Other cast in there were great as well. Um, really good special effects. Some places were a bit off, but for the most part. It was all right. Now, this film is very generic. It's very generic Marvel film. We've seen this formula down before. First half of the movie is probably where it's the strongest. When it gets to the middle, it starts to lose it. It's a lot of flashback scenes, back and forth, almost as if you're watching Batman Begins, but not done in a good way. It takes you out of the film for a bit. And then the ending, towards the third, third part, just goes into, I don't know, anime, Godzilla, Dragon Ball Z, you name it, everything is in the last part and it really took me out of the movie for a bit and I was a bit bored if I'm honest towards the end. I really wish they had tried something different, they just kept it safe as usual. And I think the audience may get a bit lost of what's going on because it just becomes a whole CGI mess and even for, for Marvel uh, for their films when they do use CGI and you know they have the explosions and the big fight scenes and you know the big big wormhole in the sky and all that stuff there. It's pretty clean to see what's going on and you're not really lost, but moments here, things were just happening and 
and great. And if you ever noticed, I haven't really spoke about the main character who does get a little bit lost in his own movie, which we dwelled with him a little bit more. He's kind of responding to just everything and there were way more stronger characters, which I won't say, who were way much better. Yes, this is a Marvel film, so it does have two after credit scenes. And one was okay and one was like, hmm, interesting see where that goes but one i think it's going to get people talking not much happens but it was it was a nice way to kind of get people teased for you know future films that's coming out so on that note i'm going to give this film a 6.5 out of 10 good action scenes that carried the first half good good dialogue some good witty jokes good chemistry with certain characters but unfortunately it falls on its face towards the end and it just becomes a generic marvel movie Something I can't really highly recommend to loads of people to rush out to the cinema, maybe wait for it to come on streaming services once again. But if you're a Marvel fan, I think you'll have a fun, but like I said, it just keeps it safe and doesn't do anything particularly new that's going to make you give you that wow factor. So, are you guys going to watch this movie? Let me know in the comments down below what you lot think of the after credits. What is the correct way to pronounce Shang-Chi or Shang-Chi? Let me know in the comments down below. Guys, thank you for watching my video once again. Remember to like, share, stay blessed, stay geeked. Bye-bye.